All right, everyone, I got a little bit of a wild video for you today. Not as exciting as being on the trail and breaking things, but today's a little bit wild because I have to adapt my sway bar to this uh, ZR2 specific four inch BDS lift. Along, there goes my air compressor. Along with the Baja kits, um, upper and lower uh, control arms that extend the, uh, the front end. So uh, what I'm doing is instead of paying five or six hundred dollars for a brand new sway bar setup, I'm trying to run my stock one because, well, I'm cheap. Uh, <laughs> I don't, I can't really shell out that money right now for a front sway bar. So I'm trying to adapt the stock one. And uh, as speaking of stock, this is the stock extension from your sway bar to your lower link and um, it's a little bit too short and the BDS lower link doesn't have a way to connect this to it. So I'm taking the one, the longer one that BDS sends out, which is really nice. This is a nice beefy piece of steel. And I'm trying to adapt it to these hive joints that I can connect to the lower link of the Baja kits. So the only problem is uh, I need to get a lathe and turn down this thick part uh, about a tenth of an inch and then I need to th re-thread it. So I need to thread it to uh, what this is, which is a half inch with the, the, the fine 20 thread. So what I did was I went to the store. So I got the, the die and I got the uh, little lever and we're basically gonna just turn this down um, to the half inch uh, on this right here to the length that I want and then re-thread it. The problem is I don't have a lathe and I went around to all of the different machine shops around town and they're all telling me $200, $300 and I have to wait a month, two months, three months because they're working on other things. I get it. Um, so what we're going to do today is adapt and overcome something I learned in the Marine Corps. Figure it out, find a way no matter what it is. And there's cars going by. We are in my apartment complex parking lot. So anyway, you're going to see me turn this down with the lathe. I've never done this before. I'm going to give it my best shot and you're going to watch me either um, fail or succeed. All right, again, just to show you guys, I got my, my uh, drill press out and I actually have one of the uh, links in there right now. I got my air compressor going right here just to kind of keep everything clean. Right, so we're gonna put that there. I'm going to turn this guy down. So I have a mark, I don't know if you can see that. So I need the, the this is 10 and a half inches to the bottom and that's what I need. And then I need this to be threaded all the way to here. That was my first mark and I decided I needed to go a little bit further so I can put a jam nut on onto that. So that's gonna have a little extra thread just so I can have a jam nut going onto that. So what I have is a file. I'm gonna tighten this thing down so I have a spot to hold that file and I'm gonna turn the, the drill press. So let's see how this goes. Right, so it's pretty obvious that this little file is not gonna cut it. I've successfully only taken off the paint. So that's not gonna work anymore. So I went out and got this big file. So this big file, hopefully we can move a little bit faster here. So that was taking way too long with the file. And I got out the grinder with the flat pad and I got a little bit further. So everything is down to 0.52. I'm gonna take it down a little bit more with this to about 0.51 and then I'm gonna finish with the, um, with the file to get it 0.5, so half an inch and that should do it. Uh, once I do that, then we'll get out this, this die right here and the little handle and then we'll, uh, we'll tap it with the die. From the bottom here, 
up to here 10 and a half inches. Um, I made a little mark. I'm going to go chop this off. So this is all going to go in the trash and then I'm going to tap this down. Found the lube, got the set screw in ready to go. We're gonna give this a shot here. much done I think I'm gonna take this apart again and go a little bit further just so I can get a jam nut against this um, this time joint here so let me take this off so this is the top end a little rubber mount here and we go I need another washer here we go I think I'm ready all right, come on over. All right. Come all the way on here. So what I'm going to do is, let's see, I probably do this side first. So what I'm going to do is put this guy in. Uh, actually, I lied. I'm going to put this guy in here first. It's not going to be perfect. Obviously, just mocking it up. Let's get this on. Going on. And we got this guy going on there. Can you see that? Okay. And obviously this washer and bolt are gonna go on, but I'm gonna skip that for now. Ooh, see if I can get this guy on. Heads up here, let me get in here real quick. a little bit <laughs> there we go okay got that guy on we're gonna do a another rubber bushing here this guy and then twist them on I don't have enough room there we go okay, okay. so this is full uh, driver turn got plenty of room and then I tested it on the other side so we should be pretty good. I'm, all I gotta do is tighten this nut down, right? Obviously don't have my uh, my stuff on me, but this is the sway bar. This is what I have to do for the Baja kits. Lower link connected to the BDS lift. I had to make that on myself and it ended up working. So I'm gonna have a jam nut here and it's gonna be pushing into this guy. Once I tighten it all down, another nut and we should be off to the races. So there you go. I'll tighten it all up. I'll do the other side and then uh, get a finished video of what it looks like and how it drives.
Well, I just got back from my first test run with this new sway bar on, well, the stock sway bar, but the new links that I made. What a difference. It just feels so much better with the sway bar on. I was just going 80, 85, 90 miles an hour in the freeway and solid as a rock going down. I mean, I'm just excited that I can finally go a little bit faster. Turns are definitely way, way better. Oh, so I think I'm gonna take them out and extend the threads a little bit further so I can get a jam nut on there and I'm ready to go. So thanks for watching and uh, like and subscribe as usual.